In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit with you all. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Bonaventure, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Let us prepare ourselves now to enter into these sacred mysteries by first calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, woe to Asteria, my rod in anger, my staff in wrath. Against an impious nation I sent him, and against a people under my wrath I order him to seize plunder, carry off loot, and tread them down like the mud of the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in mind. Rather, it is in his heart to destroy, to make an end of nations, not a few. For he says, by my own power I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am shrewd. I have moved the boundaries of people, their treasures I have pillaged, and like a giant I have put down the enthroned. My hand has seized like a nest the riches of nations, as one takes left alone, so I took in all the earth. No one fluttered a wing or opened a mouth or chirped. Will the ax boast against him who use it with it? Will the saw exalt itself among him who wields it? As if a rod could sway him who lifts it or a staff him who is not wood? Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness and instead of his glory, there will be kindling, like the kindling of fire. The word of the Lord. Be God. The Lord will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people. Your people, O Lord, they trample down. Your inheritance they afflict. Widow and stranger they slay. The fatherless they murder. The Lord, the Lord will not abandon his people. And they say, the Lord sees not, the God of Jacob perceives not. Understand, you senseless ones among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? The Lord will not abandon his people. Shall he who shaped the ear not hear, or he who formed the eye not see? Shall he not instruct nations, not chastise, he who teaches men knowledge? The Lord will not abandon his people. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of the heart shall follow it. The Lord will not abandon his people. Now, may God be in your heart and on your lips, and may proclaim his holy gospel worthy and well. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I was on vacation last week, and uh, uh, it struck me that a friend of mine had told me about an interesting show to, to check out. It's called The Pitch. It's about advertising. And I watched a couple episodes, and I immediately lost interest. Kind of, kind of fascinating for a little while. It's about companies who invite competing advertising agencies in and say, tell us how you would help us promote our product or get the public's attention about the product. And it was disappointing after just a couple episodes because you realize that there's a lot of energy that goes into just attention getting without any consideration at all to the value of the product and whether or not someone should buy it. Right? I bring that up because we're in this passage from the Gospel of St. Matthew, which includes some advertising. It started yesterday with the woe to the cities where God had worked his great works in their midst, and they still were not repenting and believing in him. It's attention-getting, isn't it, for us to consider all the ways that God has revealed himself in our lives and maybe that we have resisted uh, making the purchase decision for him, right? So that's yesterday. Uh, we heard it in verses 20 to 24. Woe to you, he says. So that was the advertising. Uh, what's valuable for us to, to do is move on from just the advertising attention getting and consider what is the value of what's being offered to us and should we make the purchase decision, which takes us to today and a little peek at tomorrow. Today, God reveals to us the price. Uh, the price. Isn't that what we do after we see something that seems to be of value? We search and we gather the price. We consider, is this worth it? And today, God says in the person of Jesus uh, that he reveals himself fully. His mercy, his love, his reconciliation to those who are humble. He uses the phrase that he is hidden from the wise and the learned, and he reveals himself to the childlike. It's not bad to continue to learn things and to fully exercise our intellect. What he's warning us about is becoming inordinately self-reliant, becoming so proud that we can't admit that we need help or ask for help or surrender to his most gracious help. So the price for entering into his fullness of love is to say, God, I, I cannot be fully self-reliant. I don't have it in me. Come get me. Please help me. I surrender to you. Help me to become more childlike. See, it seems like an exclusive club that no one can afford when we hear things like, no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. Oh, that sounds exclusive, but it's not, because everyone can become childlike. It's just expensive, because it means decreasing in the eyes of the world and relying less on our own self and our own intellect. Humility is the price of admission. When we look at that price tag to fully know God, it says, decrease so that I may increase. And it's often scary to do that. We might look like fools. So a little peek to tomorrow, because the very next verse after today's passage says, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Tomorrow, we answer the question.
Today, we continue to ponder the price. Our Lord calls everyone to come to him. He chooses to reveal God, our Father, to everyone. The price is humility. Today, I invite you to go a little deeper in how we might consider this because we're probably all thinking, yes, I've gone to Jesus over and over because a deacon, it's not just tomorrow he asks us, he asks us perpetually now, come to me. I do that all the time. Is there perhaps something a little bit deeper that we're not considering in the signs of the times, as it were, that come to me and I will give you rest? Does the come to me perhaps include come to me in the person of another, of your brothers and sisters who are struggling, who are hurting, who are crying out for justice, who are feeling oppressed. Come to me. In a world where we're increasingly polarized and demonizing each other, come to me in the person of the other who is crying out, not only in anger, but really crying out to be known and to be loved. Let's ask God to soften our hearts so that we might fully answer him tomorrow when he invites us to come to him. Let's consider today who is calling out to us to come to them, that we might see Christ in them and they might see Christ in us. And the world might say, see how they love one another and Christ may become known. Let us now gather the needs of this day and present them to God the Most High. For missionaries of the gospel around the world, may God bless them and protect them in their ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world, may God's gracious mercy deliver his people from sin and death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those struggling with habitual sin, may the Holy Spirit strengthen them and help them turn away from sin and toward God's mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community who are traveling or vacationing, may God grant them safety and a joyful time of rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially the, those known only to God, and today for Leroy Blasi, for whom this Mass is offered, May Christ greet them at the gates of the heavenly Jerusalem. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, bring in the needs of this day, those spoken, those in our hearts, those that are unknown. We ask that you grant them all through your Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of St. Bonaventure, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bonaventure you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed St. Bonaventure, you may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father and Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.